We're back, five games to go, 10 points, wins us the title, another huge game today against Brimsdown. I'm joined by former Benfleet goalkeeper Joe Williams, how you doing mate? Yeah, I'm very well thanks mate, looking forward to this one, the, uh, going to be no mugs today, we haven't played him yet, so uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. It will be mate, here's the table, three points, clear one game in hand, five games to go, Wormley show no signs of letting up, we just need to keep on winning Joe, onto the teams, big news for us, flows back in the sticks. Adam Russell also returns, but no Jobbo. Still no Declan Rice fat. We're all out of attackers today. So Michael Fix Gibbons is up top on his own, playing the Antonio Joe. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Pretty sure he was, uh, I don't know if he was a striker when, he was, when I was over with him over at Hunt. Not sure if he played that role, but he was a, a decent football all around, so I'm sure he'll do a job. I was um, I was going to ask you if he ever played up top when you played with him, but um, yeah, I don't remember him ever going up up top. But uh, as I say, hopefully he plays that Antonio, just holds it up, does his job. Like you say, we've not played him this season, so we don't know what we're going to get. Brimsdown, they're a good side as well. They've got playoff in their sight, haven't they? Uh, yeah, they have. I mean, they've played a lot, lot less games than everyone else. They have, they've got an early chance and they uh, make it 1-0. That's Eric Kudar makes it, as I say, 1-0 to Brimsdown. I think that was, I don't know if that was near post, post Joe, I think. Oh, no, I'll have to see that one again, if I'm honest with you. Let's have a little look, mate. Yeah, I mean, he'd be disappointed with that one, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he'd be disappointed with that. Yeah, he would, as I say, just... Right, uh, still, still early on, so... Yeah, maybe a little bit rusty. And there's a update on the Wormley score. Their top as it stands as well with us going 1-0 down. There it is, Joe. They're winning 1-0 away, as expected. Yeah, as expected, yeah. It's part of it. We've just got to focus on ourselves. That's, that's it. That's all we can do. Unless we, as you say that, Joe, we did. Sonny Hartman, what a goal. That was a great header. Unbelievable header. What a time to get it as well. It was, mate. And uh, the assist from Taylor Lawrence, as per... Direct mate keeper should have uh, come out maybe. He was nah, in two minds, I, I think. Nah, I wouldn't. I, wouldn't. I don't know. Again, I have to see that one. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realise how close he was there. I thought it was yeah. around the penalty area, but he uh, around a penalty spot, sorry, but yeah, no, he looked right. But the, the, it sounds like it was a very windy day there, so give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, it is indeed. And there it is. That's us back on top. Oh, that that saved there. Or did that hit the bar, mate? Bar. I think it hit the bar. Uh, no one's yeah, even claiming yeah. the corner. Almost 2-1 Benfleet. Like you say, we just need to focus on ourselves, really, and that would have just put us 2-1 two, one, two, one up. I think it's going to come, though. Hopefully, mate. I mean, Brimsdown, last uh, last five games, they've uh, lost three, drew two. They've not, not seen a win in a little while. Our last five games, mate, we've won five, conceding just one. That's I mean, the Archie's set, who stepped in for flow done so well, didn't they? Yeah, he really did, mate. He just, um, just helped us with the status quo because uh, before that, we we're actually 10 games in a row where we've won. We, have, we haven't actually lost since we conceded four against Wormley. Um, oh. And we've actually conceded four in the last 10. And Billy Carter goes through. What a ball. Oh, Finished well yeah. by Toby did Dickinson. Oh, I'll that one again. Yeah. Mate, I don't... don't strange know. that goal. It, it was, but I don't know if you... Um, it was just a great ball across, mate. Man City-esque. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought it sort of like went past the keeper, but like to his left-hand side, I thought. But, yeah. Good, think, yeah. Great, great ball in, great finish. It was as well. And uh, you see in the middle of the park there, I don't know if you saw it, but Taylor Lawrence just doing two players there. And there is the, uh, the table. Getting us three points clear again. Oh, is that a goal? Oh, great save from, from Flo. Save. Great, it's a great save. He's dusted Great out save. those cobwebs, isn't he, for that save? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did well there. Great. Moved his feet really well. Did, mate. Two hands on it. Done well. Did. Couldn't ask for any more. That's 33 minutes in. It's 2-1, as I say. Wormley winning as well. We just need to keep on winning ourselves. It's Taylor Lawrence. I don't know what happened there. That but he's the ended strangest up... goal I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I don't even think that took a deflection. We need the replay for that one. Uh, uh, no, 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 it did. No, it must have taken the deflection. I don't know if it did. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, it did. It come off his back. But regardless, I mean, it's just sort of went about two miles an hour with the team, which would have done a lot better there, but we'll take it. <laughs> it all happened in slow-mo. He didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> 40 minutes on the clock. 
It's Taylor Lawrence has another dig, saved by the keeper, but only parried. Into Toby Dickinson, who lays it in the path of Mason Shades. That's 4 1. Cox. Only in the first half, still. He's just oh. about to say that. <laughs> only the first half. This is uh, scenes. I mean, we were a little bit worried about today's game, really, Joe, weren't we? We talked before the game. That, as I say, they're, they're pushing for playoffs. Old Brim's down there. No, definitely no mugs. Yeah, but I, th I think it's one of them teams that you, you never know what you're going to get. You can either beat them. I'm pretty sure they're the last team to beat Wormley. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they really were. Well, there we go. Definitely no mugs. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. And, um... Is that a corner coming in there? Oh, it's a second goal from Wormley. Surprise, surprise. It's, uh... As they get that, we're still three points clear, but, um... No chance, part of you doing us a favour today, there. No, as expected. I mean, there was, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks like Wormley should have that in the bag, but you never know if it was a funny old game. I know, you never know. But, um, yeah, you've got Brims down, as you say, no mugs. And also, um, no mugs when it comes to sort of getting promoted. They, they, they have had their season, sorry, their first season is this season since so getting relegated the season before, Joe, Brims down. So they bounce straight back up into non league, which is, uh, not easy. No, no way. Let's not know that. Mm. <clears throat> Straight back up. But um, so they go in. What happened there? Oh. Given a foul for uh, for nothing there. And uh, I mean, Parkview have scored two goals, though, in two minutes. And it's now gone oh, to 2-2 two, two against Wormley. It didn't even have enough time to... Tell you about the first goal. They scored straight after that to make it 2-2. Two, oh. two. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, even... That would be amazing, wouldn't it, really? 2-2. Two, two. If they can hold on for that. Oh, draw would be absolutely brilliant. But Wormley, they left it late the last game. And they scored yeah. against Duffin Manor, so... I wouldn't put it past them to do, do the same again, but... Hope not. And that score there that shows Wormley 3-3, free free, um, that is not a mistake. Parkview actually went 3-2 up and then Wormley equalised, Joe. So, it would have been scenes there, 3-2. Wormley's then gone ahead and went 3-3. Three, three. Wow. I mean, there's not much to show you in the Benfleet game, but plenty happening in the Wormley game, which is uh, <laughs> massive for the promotion. It's hard you can switch over to the Wormley yeah, game. Yeah, I'm trying to find a split screen at least. <laughs> But, uh, this game's done and dusted, so it's all eyes on, on the Wormley game. I mean, this would be a great result, even a draw. I don't know. All I've got is a producer in my ear and then the odd update on the screen. That's all I'm getting, mate. That's all I'm getting. Oh, my God, Joe. Park View have gone 4-3 up against oh, Wormley. Wow. We're still 4-1. No I was not expecting that. That leaves us six points clear with a game in hand. This is unbelievable. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, if it stays the same in this game, I'm pretty sure if we beat Brimsdale at their ground next Wednesday, I'm sure they share the same pitch as Wormley. Is that right? Yeah, they do. They do. They ground share. Brimsdale ground share with Wormley. So we could actually win the league at Wormley, and that's full time. That's 4 1. It's a huge day of results for us. Let's have a look at that table. And there it is, Joe. Six points clear. <laughs> Four games Mate. left. We just need four points and um, we're promoted. A little club like Benfleet playing non-league football three, four years ago. Uh, sorry, amateur football three, four years ago. And we, we're on the cusp. That's amazing stuff. On the absolute cusp, mate. Thanks for coming. Hopefully you'll join me next time, mate, where we uh, could be lifting a trophy. I'll be there, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> See you next time.